I'm on flesh. Now, as I ask you to join right hands and repeat after me. The bride is coming. In this wonderful moment, incredibly humbled and honoured to be asked to do this. Beautiful people coming together in marriage. And that they love each other dearly. And now we move to the official stuff. I therefore ask you, Devon, will you have Zali as your wife to live faithfully together? I do. Zali, will you have Devon as your husband to live together faithfully in marriage? I do. All right, now the vows. I ask you to join right hands and repeat after me. I, Devon. I, Devon. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Zali. Take you, Zali. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we live. As long as we live. I, Zali. I, Zali. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Devon. Take you. To be my husband. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful. As long as we live. And I now invite the couple to share the vows that they have prepared for themselves. Um, I, I use the term prepared loosely. <laughs> so. Devon, you are my best friend. My soulmate, you are everything to me. I knew you were the one when we first met. It was the 8th of May 2013 at 7:30 pm and you were wearing that burgundy jacket. Do you remember that? Yes, I do remember yeah. <laughs> I still have the burgundy jacket. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so, you make me feel safe, secure, and loved. Devon, we are the greatest team. I can't wait to begin the next chapter of our lives together as husband and wife. Devon, I promise to love you forever. Make sure that's <laughs> So, true to my nature, I didn't prepare any better. <laughs> I thought it best to come up here and wing it. And we... <laughs> but I do feel in saying that wing it has been a lot of what we've done throughout our relationship. Everything that we've ever done, we've always gone head first. It, it's, it's gone. I was, what did you I say? Was, you remember, come on. I was just so in the moment, speaking from the heart. Oh. I just... You know, it's moments in time, you know, once they're no, gone, they're gone. You, say, you would have thought better for me. I don't, I, don't, I don't really remember. I, I just remembered. You talked for a bit. I did talk for a bit. I talked a lot about the past and the struggles that we've been through. And I mean, we're both pretty bullet a gate sort of people. So I think I, I would have, I'm assuming I would have spoken something about how we just kind of don't hold anything back. We have no reservations about anything and whatever we do, we do it 100% and that comes into our relationship as much as it does into other areas of our lives. You know, we met through friends, I suppose, at the start, start. Yeah, I suppose we met through yeah. friends, yeah. I think I Zali Facebooked me to begin with, didn't you? I sent a message, I said, he looks pretty fine. Yeah. <laughs> Zali, Zali chased, she chased me. I did, me. I did, the, you know, but then I, I waited for a, a bit until, you know, to respond. Like you said something straight back and I waited a few days, you oh, know, no, to you keep you hooking in. didn't wait a few days. <laughs> what a load of trash. Uh, yeah, but then, we, <laughs> but then we met through, you know, we met through friends. Well, actually, there's a funny story behind the proposal. When, um, because, you know, I wanted to ask Zali's dad's permission you know, as, as, as you do. And um, he, he come in for dinner one night and I thought, oh, what a, what, what a perfect opportunity. And so, so I said to Zah, oh, I said, Zah, make sure your dad comes in and says, you know, goodbye to me in the kitchen before he goes. 
because you know I didn't want Zali there when I was trying to ask this. So Zali's like, oh yeah, yeah, righto. And then so she done that, and Jim Jim come in, and Zali just stood there <laughs> in front of me the whole time. And I had to, I had to, I don't know what happened there, but I managed to get rid of you somehow. Yeah, I was like, what do you want to get rid of? Not rude. And then I took I took Jim and Jim and Zali's dad outside, and you know did the whole you know, ask for permission thing. And then Jim said, yeah, that's fine. And then he come out the front and says to Zali, oh, sorry, who you getting married, love? (laughs) (laughs) I don't don't think you really understood. Exactly, exactly what was going on. (laughs) Well, I still did. So that was probably the next weekend, I think. I just, like, got Zali up out of bed. We walked up to see the chickens. (laughs) <laughs> and, I, and I proposed there in front of the chicken, yeah. in front of the chicken coops. It was coops. very sweet, unexpected, because I was imagining this big. Because Zali's <laughs> always told me to do this big thing, I we'll go Paris away and get videographers. Oh. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was maybe something flat. Nah, nah, I released the chickens. <laughs> yeah, because I was sitting there watching the chickens or something, wasn't I? Yeah. Talking about the chickens. It was very sweet. Unexpected. It was unexpected. Yeah, which is nice. It's I, for, very good. I for one love the ceremony. Very low key, which is the way we wanted it. Mm, yeah. You know, there's enough stress and stress in our lives without a, a big stress. flash. Yeah, wedding stress. Yeah, so, I think no, I think it was perfect. Everything. I, yeah. I, I enjoyed everything about it. And it was nice because that's where the house was going. You know, like it meant something to us. That spot. You yeah, know? and an area that meant something to us. Yeah, it was beautiful. It just everything. Thank you. Uh, give him a round of applause.